Hi guys, I'm going to leave you um, two articles here and it's about a whistleblowers on the Navajo reservation and what's been going on and you'd be surprised who's involved uh, well no you wouldn't it's some corporate corporal politicians you know so uh, also I'm gonna show you some kind of armed mercenaries too have who have been lurking around questioning activists even Native American activists um, and kind of taunting them and I guess they've you know it's kind of scary um, and they've got tactical armored vehicles too I'll just let you know so if you're seeing some of these vehicles go someplace they're probably going to to protect a corporation because that seems like where um, it's lucky that the indigenous people have been able to walk up there to them and, and actually photograph them and some of it's a little bit scary and I, I will um, show you briefly just a couple of pictures and sh and um, I'm going to mainly leave the links but I, I really want you to watch this video of uh, the guy's really nice but uh, he's trying to question the men and this is in Wisconsin at a drilling site right right outside a reservation well I mean I would say they're probably on the reservation barely I mean there's there's nothing Indians can do anymore and one more thing Native Americans I gotta give a thumbs up to AIM in Canada boy oh boy you guys are doing an awesome job um, because uh, you're dismissing your war, your peace chiefs, and bringing in your war chiefs, and I understand that for 23 years you guys have been planning for this, and I surely hope something like that is going to happen here in, you know, south of you, where I live, um, because I think everybody should go and start meeting some Native Americans, go on a reservation, talk to them. The Indians have always wanted to talk to the local residents, and you know sit down and have a talk and say look we're all in the same crap they're poisoning us they're poisoning you um, we've been active we've been wanting you to join us um, you know so do that because they actually do have plans you know they they've always known that one day things are going to come to a head and I think that it's starting to come to a head for them so you ought to just go and and hang out with them and see what they've got planned um, Anyway, I'm going to show you the two links I'm going to leave you. Um, it's kind of cool. John McCain. Hey, you should be a little worried, too. The Navajos don't like you very much. Hold on. This is going to be an article on a Navajo whistleblower expo exposing the corruption of the Navajo water, water Department in the dirty coal industry where there is absolutely no regulations um, for that coal and that water's dumped into their water supply too I'm gonna tell you um, and I'll, I might just briefly read you this one whistleblowers within the Navajo Nation have exposed the corruption takeover of the Navajo Water Code Administration um, the Resource and Department Committee is holding a meeting which was held yesterday in regards to it and um, this is who they are um, putting on their their interest uh, some of these corporate engines I call them who work for the they, they will take money to do this and the hell with the rest of their people um, those include John Kyle and John McCain along with the states of Arizona New Mexico Utah and the dirty coal industries of the Navajo generating Salt River project and the Peabody coal BHP and more now I'm gonna go over here really really quick and show you that armed security contractors have been exposed on the border, Arizona border and in Wisconsin. This is what one of the dudes looks like in Wisconsin. Right there. I mean, he's got a black mask on. He's carrying a weapon. And um, some Indians walked right up there and um, took pictures of him. They're also on the border of the Navajo land. And uh, they brag here about all the stuff they have. Um, their little mass commandos have I call them mercenaries um, the, and believe it or not it's because of a freedom of information uh, request uh, concerning the Occupy movement that the US documents expose the facts that they were spying on Native Americans and the activism because they Native Americans have been trying to get the mining companies and and the 
their water, you know, all the mining companies, and actually they're stealing water from native re reservations too, you know, and they're fracking on the land. But you know, you can you can now run a, a a thing into a well, stand outside the reservation, run a thing into their well, and steal their water, too. Um, but this company it brags about all the stuff they have, the stuff that the private sector doesn't have, which includes some heavily armored joint light tactical vehicles, JLT. TVs, tactical all-terrain vehicles fl with FLIR, uh, mobile thermal systems, mast uh, equipment, eye in the sky, and many other state-of-the-art uh, assets. Um, they are all also sharpshooters and former U.S. military, police officers, and U.S. Border Patrol agents. They also carry machine guns and submachine guns, and they are sharpshooters now. If you continue going down, there will be a video on this, and this is an a, an indigenous guy. He's just he's going up there to just talk to him kindly. He's trying to get a little information about it, but uh, he'll show you how they're dressed and the weapons they have. So, um, with that, I say, wow. I mean, I'm glad this is coming to surface, and and I'm I just think they're mercenaries myself, and they're just protecting the. Polo, politician corporations because that's all this is about now is corporations and they line the pockets of the politicians to do this to me, you, everybody else and this isn't helping humanity in any way whatsoever so um, I will leave these links and I hope everybody has a nice day and I am out of here